Hi, my name is Toby, and in 2019, I inherited an abandoned 248,000 square metre farm in the northwest corner of Tenerife, inside the Tenor National Park. I'm now clearing 50,000 square metres of overgrowth, restoring a 100-year-old farm building, rediscovering 200,000 square metres of virgin forest, and all this in one of the best climates of the world. Follow our journey from the very start as we begin and develop this adventure. A massive project to bring useful purpose to this abandoned land. Become an active part of our dream to bring a sustainable lifestyle to this place of outstanding natural beauty. Good morning and welcome here to another morning, another Monday morning at the Buena Vista Rural Club here in northwest Tenerife, El Palmar, above Buena Vista. And this morning, we're continuing with the battening of the roof. Firstly, let me say that last week we didn't finish the roof for various reasons. There was rain, Dave bit the dust, and really, I underestimated, I think, the amount of work involved in putting these battens up and getting them in the right place. The calculations that we had to make. Samuel's here with me again today and we're gonna have a go at finishing the battening and getting a few of the tiles up. But first of all, we're gonna move some of the big rocks. So one of the things that we've uh, found is that the compressor doesn't work. We can't make it to make it work. So we're down to um, old-fashioned nails. Put a little clout in. Okay, so what we're into now is the, you know, I wanted to check the, no, uh, give me the spacer. I wanted to check, check the spacing here and make sure that we didn't have an inappropriate curve. There's a pull of the curve it looked like from the other side, but Okay, tight here. Bang on here. We're okay. So we're going to put the uh, battens on. centimeter spacer or to use the imperial one foot give or take and here comes the sun thank goodness Fell so well. Can you go and get it, please? <laughs> so 
So we've finished the battening is done all the way to the top. So now what we have to do is start tiling the roof. And so all the tiles which we brought out, this was brought out the other day, every single one of those is going to have to go back in and then up onto the roof. So, These last few were the last ones that came off the roof and they're a little bit, shall we say, knackered. No doubt we'll use them, but I don't think we should use them at the beginning. So we'll put them all down there. few tiles and start taking them through. So here officially we're laying the first tile, which will go like that. It's the first tile configuration there. So these tiles, some of them are very used, very dirty, and they need to be given a quick brush up. Nothing spectacular. And they have two lugs at the back here, which sit on that first button. Like so. Come close. See the ridge? That ridge just needs cleaning out, and that ridge needs cleaning out. Just like that. And we can set on top of the other one and go into place. Seon Saint Henri Marseille, Bouchard Frère. The makers of these tiles are from Marseille in France. That's the first row in. So now what we're doing is the second row. And in the second row of tiles, and notice this one. It sits on that 30 centimeter gap and locks into the tile at the front. And it's halfway across the tile. should see it just lock in there and it shouldn't jump down. So we do one and then we do the second one. Cleaning out all the lockout points like we did before. And 
then on the third one, I pre-fitted a piece of wire. Third one goes on. that the third one has a piece of wire in it. And that piece of wire threads through the beam. That's what happened though, the tile is locked in place. I'm glad we realized our mistake, which was that the, the ridge wasn't fitting properly on top. And thankfully we realized it and I could go back at this stage and fix it easily. Okay, give me. Now you pass me. They sit on like that and they sit into that ridge. Okay, another one. And this one's one that we're going to tie. So the second row is in. And we're done. So lunchtime. 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 Yeah, and there comes, guess who, for lunch. Hey. Who are you? Do you want some lunch? Here we go. From below, we have two rows in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven rows to go. Third row. And so the fourth row is in.
works, but there's a hole in the in the uh, tile. And into that hole, I literally poke the wire in, get it halfway, bring it up the middle, and then place the tile on. And then later on, I'll fasten it to the batten down below. And that keeps it from blowing off in the wind. So here we are, sixth deep. Six tiles deep. And about halfway. Thankfully the sun's not burning today. And it's not raining. Guess what we've done? We've done number seven. There it is, all the way. And remember the last clip I said that at least it wasn't sunny and it, at least it wasn't raining when well, it started to piss down with rain. So here at the corner, what we're doing is we're cutting the tiles to fit. And we've done that along that edge there. You can see, and right along that edge there. And we'll have to do that with various tiles down the side when it comes to it. But it suddenly struck me that we should be laying these upright and across ways now, because we did a straight line along the bottom. But now we can do three lines at a time at a go as we as we move across the roof that way. So the roof is beginning to take its final shape. Through the fields of our parts, feelings got always keeping us close, but a strange now. I just want to say that I am very, very happy that the roof is on the barn. It's actually done. It's on. This bit up here needs a bit of cement and sealing in, but that's all small beans compared to putting the actual uh, tiles on and of course building the structure, the, the rafters, etc. The uh, crack here still needs to be filled. Again, it's just a question of coming and doing it with some cement one day. But we actually have a roof. And I'm very, very pleased with it indeed. Going through. <laughs> very proud moment. 
Thank you very much, everybody, for watching, and we'll see you soon. Lifting us higher.